Hi friends, welcome back to my channel Cook with Sana Kuram. This is Sana. Today you are going to watch how to make the very scrumptious and healthy grilled pommes frites fish marinated with our own Indian spices to bring out the saporous flavor which will whet your appetite. Friends, if you like this recipe and my video, please hit a like, share it with your family and friends and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Come, let's get started. For making the grilled fish with the Indian flavor, I have taken pommes frites fishes weighing 850 grams. Makes this like this so that uh, you know the masalas get penetrated into them, uh, you know, while doing marination. Now we can start preparing the marinade. For this, take a bowl and add one teaspoon of turmeric powder and three teaspoons of Kashmiri red chilli powder. This will add very good color to the masala, but this will not be very spicy at all. So you can add three teaspoons of them. And add one tablespoon of ginger paste and one tablespoon of garlic paste and one teaspoon of garam masala powder, quarter teaspoon of pepper powder, one teaspoon of salt, two tablespoons of lemon juice. Now we are going to thoroughly mix all these ingredients. Now to make the marinade a little smoother, we are going to add 1 tablespoon of oil to it. You can add any oil. I have used sunflower oil. Mix it thoroughly. And you can just see the consistency of the marinade. It is not too thin. It should not be runny at all because it should be spread properly over the fishes. So this should be the consistency not too runny it should be slightly thick now you can spread the marinade over the fishes this way and you have to uh, you know apply the masala into the uh, slits so that uh, the masalas um, get coated well inside the fleshy portion of the fish so that that will improve the uh, you know the taste and the flavor of the fish while we are grilling and the marination is very important and spreading the masala and applying it properly uh, is very important because the entire fish this is a little bigger size fish so the entire fish should get uh, the masala so the amount the quantity of masala that we have prepared is sufficient uh, you know to fill these uh, fishes now the marinade is ready we can um, refrigerate it for three hours now after three hours you can just see the fishes are ready to be grilled now this is the high rack this is the grill high rack we're going to use for grilling these fishes now I've kept a drip tray down and bath some oil over the grill plate so that uh, the fishes don't get stuck while we are grilling the skin will never get stuck and uh, put some more oil just two or three drops of oil you can sprinkle this is just uh, for giving lubrication for the fishes so that they don't get stuck in the grill plate now you can just place it in an oven and grill for 10 minutes this way press the grill combi button three times this way and we're going to grill it at 360 degrees centigrade for 10 minutes on one side we are going to use the grill combi option because the fish has to get cooked well at the same time the top of it has to be crispy now after 10 minutes you are just going to remove it and we are going to flip it to the other side and again we are going to place it inside and grill again for 10 minutes so that the other side of the fish also gets grilled well the same method we are going to do we are going to press the grill combi option we are going to press three times one two three and then click the microwave button and 360 degrees centigrade is the heat and you have to grill it for 10 more minutes the total time is 20 minutes each side 10 minutes for it to get you know grilled perfectly now it is over now we're going to open the oven after 10 minutes now you can just see 
Our fish has been beautifully grilled to perfection. It is juicy and succulent from inside and mildly crispy on the outside. Please try this recipe and send me your feedback. Thank you all very much. With lots of love, Sana Kuram. Thanks a lot for watching my video. Please write your valuable feedback in the comments box which will encourage me to give you the best videos in the future. And if you like my recipe and my video, please hit the like, subscribe to my channel and enable the bell icon so that you will get the updates of my new uploads. And please don't forget to share this recipe with your family and friends. Thank you all very much. With lots of love, Sana Kuram.